Hello oh, and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? Well, I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make them establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Susan Kennard. But before that, I would like to say thank you for watching this show live at a later date. And it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray and I use angelic Reiki, future life regression, past life regression, meditation, angel cards and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their destiny and their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey a mini guided meditation or angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Susan Kennard, will be talking about self-love and how to, by healing and finding it to yourself can help you find your mission and passion in this lifetime. Now, Susan Kennard is known as a spiritual scientist as she blends her science skills as a psychologist, psychotherapist and neuropsychologist with her inner work and intuition to help understand the best way people can heal from within. Susan was given the gift of clairvoyance, clairescience and clairaudience, which combines with her knowledge of the spiritual world. Now, whether you have experienced serious trauma or you just want to align with your mission, Susan can help you heal your path. Susan is here to help you reflect love as the more you love you reflect, the more amazing your life is. And once you heal, you can become the best version of yourself and transform your life into one of passion and freedom with praise like, I would just like to say that after just one session with Susan, my relationship with my mother shifted completely. I have no idea how the processes she used to achieve this. I have felt like my mother's parent for most of my life and she is suddenly speaking to me in a motherly way. Just amazing. So I'm really excited to start this conversation. So without further delay, hello Susan and welcome to the Angels of Destiny show. Hi there, thanks so much for having today? me. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I might in a second shut my door because I can hear my neighbours. Um, literally, as you were talking, my neighbours have got some sort of water thing going on. So, do you mind if I just shut it? No, you do, That's do that, isn't it? Live, huh? Hold on. It, it is. That's fine. Um, so, whilst, whilst Susan's doing that, before we get into this fascinating conversation, then I want to remind you that you can also ask questions leave comments and thoughts as both Susan and I want to be part of this conversation so please don't be shy. We'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello and answer any questions or comments live or once the show is finished. Massive apologies. <laughs> that's that's right. okay and if you're watching on my YouTube channel then give it the thumbs up and subscribe to it so you can get updates on all recordings. So Susan now that the door shut. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you tell us more about yourself and how for healing we can find self-love and move forward with our mission? Sure. OK, so so my background was psychology and psychotherapy and I worked in child protection for a long time. And uh, whilst I was working in child protection with um, serious trauma, I found that basically I had this ability to be able to connect on a much deeper level. So the reason why that happened was because I had, as many people do that have a, a spiritual awakening, I had this incredible spiritual awakening. And the way that happened was that a very good friend of mine that was a boyfriend beforehand, but was still a friend, actually had taken his life. And he was only 34 and I was in my early 20s, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was 34, 34. And... Um, he had taken his life and so obviously that would have been a shock and so on but a couple of months later I had this essentially like a visitation and uh, I'd never had anything like this before and um, never experienced it. I kind of always knew there was something else but I had no idea and I didn't come from one of those families where people talked about spiritual stuff in fact it was weird you know or woo woo and so it was not talked about um, and so what happened was he came to me one night and I actually literally felt like somebody was um, trying to wake me up. So I was in a situation where I was, I realized there was something going on. I realized someone was in the room with me, but I couldn't move. 
And it was it was sort of that that state where you're in sleep, but you're not in sleep. And the science aspect of that, some people would say, oh, well, that's just, you know, your brain playing tricks on you. But there was and I'm a real evidence girl. Yeah, I can't like evidence, like give me evidence. Right. Which will lead me to tell you something else about this. But so essentially I was like, surely like I didn't make this up. This is definitely anyway. So a couple of months later, after not being able to sleep at all for months because I was scared that something was going to happen like that again, a friend of mine got me a reading and said, um, and this person just told me everything about my relationship with this guy, who, you know, what we've done together. And I said, well, how do you know all of this? And she said, well, he's here and he's telling me and he told me that he came to see you. And I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. So there's floods of tears and and uh, and then, of course, I was a psychologist, and she said, and she looked at my hand, and she said, mm, and this is your journey. And I said, what's my journey? And she said, well, wait and see, because you have this ability too. And I'm like, you must be joking. Certainly not going to be talking to dead people. <laughs> and that's how it was. Anyway, so as time goes on, you know, these spiritual awakenings that, that, that we have lead you on that path, don't they, where... Yeah. So I was in London at the time and um, I ended up finding transcendental meditation. I, you know, all these signs came to me, you know, like in a magazine or whatever, you know. And uh, so I ended up training as a medium at the College of Psychic Studies, which um, is in South Kensington. And I didn't really want to be a medium. It wasn't really on my, you know, on my agenda. And I kept it quiet because obviously I was working in child protection and in those days, I'm 50 this year, and um, in those days, he definitely didn't talk about it, you know, all those years ago. So I ended up working on the platforms in London as a medium, channeling and speaking publicly. And I had no idea that that was obviously sort of my grounding for what I do now. Um, but it all kind of leads to one place. But essentially that awakening led me uh, to realize that there was so much more than just the mind and body, okay? And, and I realized that, you know, we can't just look at the mind, we can't just look at the body. I trained as a naturopath as well um, during that time because I wanted to really look holistically at everything. And I, I, I chose not to really live the medium life. I kept it secret. I lived under the guise of psychologist. And to be honest, I didn't really come out of the closet <laughs> until about 10 years ago. That's when, even though I've been doing it I for 20 odd years, I didn't come out of the closet. And that's how I speak about it because I didn't think that it was something that, you know, with my background of psychologists and I had great clients amazing work and every single time I work with them we would bring in the spiritual we would do all of that but it wasn't on my website it wasn't who I was and I was in the media a bit as well and I was interviewed on the basis of um, a psychologist in Harley Street and I had all this kind of like accolade with it and it wasn't until I actually stripped all that away that I really stepped onto my mission um, about 10 years ago. And it and it it's that was really the self-love. It's like, right, how much do I love myself? How much can I really stand there and say, right, okay, this is who I am? And so from that journey, obviously it's a, like a massive journey of self-discovery and healing <laughs> past lives and all the times, you know, that the, you know things have been done and I've done things to people and it's like you know and and then all these different trainings and the Akashic realms and all sorts of stuff and now what I love is that whoever I work with even if they don't know this they're always there because they need to align more fully to their mission and even you know in the days when I used to work with people that are really unwell physically that the body was showing the message then I stumbled upon the fact that when they healed themselves through through support from my team myself as a channel and, and their team that actually they're like oh my god I, I like I kind of always wanted to do that but I hadn't done it 
even down to kind of working with animals or something you know it could be anything and then the body just started to heal you know because obviously they were in alignment with their missions so and that's not to say and i'm not a doctor that's not to say that if anybody has a message in their body and it's showing it to them that they shouldn't seek medical advice they really should and i work alongside that with people so it's you know i wouldn't be saying to someone don't go to a doctor or don't take medica medication i'd never say that so i just want to be clear with that but it's it's it goes along with it so it's looking at the mind it's looking at the body and that emotional connection as well as whatever else they choose to do in the journey does that answer your question no no that that answers the um that answers the lines and tells us you know about yeah. your and how and how you go on to this and if you um and i can see we've we've got around some people watching this so please oh, right. Lovely. Do, do say hello and if you've got any questions um that, that yeah. you, said, then, you know then, then please then please then please do mm. um, so so when did you really start um working um you know with 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 the self with self-love was it when it happened to you or did it take a little bit of time after that oh yeah face? i reckon it took a lot of time after that and i think until you know i mean i trained as a psychotherapist and you'd think training as a psychotherapist that you would have worked on you know the the feeling is that people think well you must be worked on yourself but actually it was scratching the surface and it wasn't until actually I started doing energy work I started with EFT um, emotional freedom technique and I started with that and it wasn't until then that I actually started crying because it was the you know actually allowing those emotions to come out and one of the things that i think is really important for people wherever they are on their journey is to look at what is showing up in your outside world so what is showing up what relationships it's my favorite thing but what relationships are showing up what is the external environment showing you because that is a beautiful reflection of your self-love okay and i didn't know that you know, I was on this journey and obviously I knew I, I needed to heal myself. I come out of a, um, a relationship where it was emotionally abusive and I chose to end it. My babies were 11 months old and two and I just chose to end it and uh, knew that it was the right thing to do. And, you know, I had my team. I, you know, I was very fortunate. I had all that support and I had no idea 3D how I was going to do it, pay the mortgage, make sure the babies were okay. But I knew that it was the right thing to do. And it was then that I really found the energy work. And it was then that I really found, I started to heal what patterns I'd attracted into my life and, and why I had attracted that situation and, and, you know, and how to heal that really. And so it's it's beautiful that the universe has lined up to where I really love working with people is the relationship of self-love and how does that reflect out to the world? So, you know, do you feel that you're getting love? Do you feel that you're receiving abundance? Do you feel that you feel happy and you've got energy about life? And, you know, you get excited about what you do because I, I don't consider that I work really. <laughs> you know, I do work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I don't feel like it's work. Mm. There needs to be another word for it. I think when people say, what, what do you do as work? Yeah. Right? Because essentially it's who I am. You know, a being of light, being and having a human experience. Yeah. And I, you know, and I, th I think it's really important to, to look at that um, with everybody. You know, it's like if you feel excited about what you're doing, then you're probably on your mission. Yeah. Okay? If you're not excited, probably you need to tweak it. It might not mean that it's not the path. It just means that it's slightly off. And then if the body puts on weight or loses weight or has pain or shows you something, then there's another little note, you know, note to self, 
note to self-love i hear my guide say that's quite cool actually <laughs> yeah. note to self-love i like that i need to i like, I like that. that as well yeah yeah i'm, I'm gonna I'm, write I'm, that I'm, down i'm gonna borrow that <laughs> <laughs> note to self-love use that in my group so essentially um essentially that's what it's about so the more uh so the, the guides are coming right in now so what they're showing me uh, clairvoyantly is that in the heart field you know we have these bits where we've shut shut down from shocks and trauma and uh, when we can heal those shocks and traumas and bits of us and, and they call it the interruptions in the light field when we can heal those bits of dust then we shine out brighter and so as we're doing that our heart is more open and uh yeah it's not what they're saying to me is it's not about saying the words it's about feeling it and so if something is not working in your life or you're not able to create it or manifest it then it's really that part of you that is not reflecting out the, the vibration of love and that doesn't mean you're not you're an unkind person or not a nice person to be with or not a loving person, but it is about what you're giving. They're just talking to me. It's like a yeah, telephone line right. here. Um, I like no, it. but interrupting me when I'm trying to say something. <laughs> they're, say, they're saying to me, and as I'm saying that, they're saying um, it's it's not prescriptive okay thank you yeah it's not prescriptive it's like everyone is different everyone has got their own beautiful journey their own mission they all come for the same purpose apparently which is to love ourselves and to shine that out but the mission is really something that's really beautifully unique to that person and that's why there's never any uh, competition in abundance they say oh someone's flashed up a message I think this is uh, okay, but Karen, Karen, I hope that well this this should technically this should be scrolling up to show the whole yeah, message. it is I can see I can see Roshni <laughs> yeah well no it should be showing the whole message but it but it's not so I'll read that All out right. once, once, okay. once you finish with what you're doing yeah I mean you know they could go on for hours but but essentially <laughs> what, what they're saying is 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 that it's that opening the door opening the door of the heart and one of the ways that that i find really amazing to help people do that is to heal those relationships so i have a many processes but one of them is called cutting the ties that bind through forgiveness and it's a process where we really do even if we've been abused by somebody or even if they passed over we we can do that so mother mother work father work any work husband wife whatever it might be even if you want to get married to someone do it first <laughs> even if you've got a new boyfriend do it <laughs> because it's it's cutting those ties that bind you from lifetime after lifetime after lifetime contracts and agreements held in the Akashics because we always come together for a reason huh yeah so it that's I love that work I love that work because it's instant it heals instantly and then what it does is shows up other stuff around your mission so the sort of light bulb moments come on and that part of the brain so the sciencey bit is that part of the brain is no longer taken up by that relationship in the sense of how it feels or how you haven't spoken your truth or something like that and so it's like a, to me it's like a shed you know like um in in england that's what we say don't we a shed at the yeah. bottom of the garden slightly different in america i think but in in england it's a shed and the shed is full of everybody else's stuff and this is a way to give back the bikes and the pots and pans and everything else that actually isn't even yours you know that you can just let go of so yeah 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 that 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 you know that that's that that's quite a good quite a good way of doing it especially as a lot mm. of people who have trouble with forgiveness mm. and, and that, that's the thing i find um that a lot of people that, that come to see me is is when we get onto the forgiveness side not just for other people but themselves as well and a lot of people find mm. that really, really hard. I think the forgiveness of self is key. 
Mm. So one of the parts we do is um, today I choose to forgive myself as I choose to forgive you. And that seems to be the thing where perhaps the tears flow and there seems to be sort of a, a shift. So they see that person in a different way. And it's almost like it's like the heart opens and that that is really the key. Quite often Mother Mary will will step in as well. So if there needs to be some inner child healing, which usually there is, uh, she will step in and sing, sing to them, which is where the light codes come in and the light language. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, again. Mm. Isn't it? Um, so um, Roshni um, says, and you can only see a bit of it here, so I'll read down. I really was hoping it would scroll because Be Life 2 said there's scrolls. I might connect, ask them about that one. But anyway, I love working with Susan, have had various healing sessions with Susan, and each time I feel more liberated. She's helped me connect to my guides. I also enrolled in Susan's Sparkle to Success course, which taught me different mm. qualities on how to heal emotions for myself and for others, which is which is really which is um, yeah. a, a really nice, nice thing thing to say. So, what's Sparkle to Success called? So that, that sounds quite yeah. Neat. So, Sparkle to Success was born because, and I used to teach it live, physically live. Um, it was born from really working with veterans with PTSD, and they'd work with psychologists and doctors, etc. And they told their story so many times mm -hmm. that it just happened the universe dropped them in and I started working with them and so my team then gave me all these different processes where I didn't need to know anything about them so they yes they would tell us won't they or guys will tell us yeah. but they actually gave processes so we could actually access parts of us that we don't know that we don't know because obviously this this part is our knowing isn't it and yeah. this and this part is our non-knowing because it's got no language you know the reptilian old yeah. brain you know amygdala that's the part that has no language so when people say I've, I've tried everything I've tried everything I just don't know I just can't get there and it's because it's held as um I was going to say memory but they're saying a vibration so a vibrational uh set point okay <laughs> a vibrational set point they're saying that goes out to the world so that that bit there is crucial uh, to accessing. And of course, um, I stumbled upon that because the veterans came into my life and it just became something that was born. So I used to teach it as a really intense three day training. And uh, then I taught it as an online training. That's when Rosh, Roshi came and did it with me. Um, and it was each week for eight weeks. And now I've put it together as a self-help course that anyone can do. So um, it's gonna be launched very soon actually on my website. Oh, so it, yeah, so people will be able to do it themselves and they get the recordings and the audio and, and I've created a sort of a book, but it's a manual. So it's a step-by-step -step channeled manual from the guides with pictures as well. So you can follow each process so it's it's easy, you know, um, and you can't get it wrong. And the audios that I've recorded have been channeled with each process. So you can do them again, again with different people. So, and one of the the cutting of the ties is on that one as well as part of that uh, program. So yeah, oh yeah, and so, so, so that's like what she was talking about. All right, yeah, because I, I like the way then that it's moved from um, in person to online to self help. But that's really quite nice. Mm. Uh, yeah. a way 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 of going through it so i can reach more people with it really you know yeah yeah and 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 also the reason why it's called success is because oh okay i've kind of like lost susan for a second um i don't know what's happened because susan's just suddenly frozen on me um so Please, please, go um, because I can only see from my bit. Please, can you let me know if I've frozen or just Susan's frozen? If someone could actually type in the comments, because um, I'm not sure what's happened to Susan. Um, uh, I'll just try and contact her whilst you're, uh, someone can let me know.
Okay, so hopefully she'll be able to sign herself um, back in in a minute. So whilst we're we're doing, uh, so whilst we're waiting for Susan to actually come back into the show. Okay, just just Susan. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, so so hopefully Susan will be logging out and uh, logging logging back in in a minute. Um, hopefully, um, so I just say. Uh, so if you've got any questions that you want to ask, um, then you know please uh, now is the chance to um, uh, you know to ask them. Um, hopefully, uh, by the time you've asked them, Susan, will will be will be will be back will be back in um, because I know she is going to um, be doing a group session um, after the show at eight o'clock. So we want to try and uh, get her get her back um, as soon as we possibly can. Um, have messaged her, so we'll see. Um, what else happens? So, has anyone got any questions? Um, by the way, um, that Su that Susan can answer, or anything that that you want to tell us um, ab about yourselves, about self love for yourself. You know, do you find have you found it hard um, with self love, or um, do you? Um, you know, have you cut cords? Do you find it hard to forgive? You know, do you know what your mis mission is? Um, you know, all, the, all those all those questions um, that Susan and myself can can answer um, can answer uh, to. So I'm just trying to get hold of uh, Susan on two ways of messaging, um, just to see if we can get her back because she's not there. She hasn't come back on that one. Um, so, so um, Roshni, um, you, you know, you, you're, you're on here. So you say that you've, you've worked with, um, with, with Susan and she taught you different modalities and how to uh, heal emotions. So can you sort of like uh, write on here what modalities that, um, you know, some of the modalities that she gave you that might help other people um, on here. All right, so Wendy says, um, I've had sessions with Susan and she has cut calls for me and my husband and now we have a much happier loving relationship. It's been amazing. Oh, wow, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, thanks for sharing, Wendy. Um, so, so cutting cords obviously really does, does seem to, does seem to work. Um, you know, you know, I, you know, I use cutting cords myself, um, with, with people, um, but it's always nice around me, people, how I cut cords to other people cut cords. It's really nice that that happens. Oh, Okay, so Susan's, um, it looks like it might be a laptop, so she's going to try her phone to, uh, to get back on. So fingers crossed. Hey, it's back on. So she should be with us any second now, we hope. And then you don't have to listen to me waffling on anymore, um, asking you to, uh, to put your, your uh, comments or, or, or questions um, in here um uh, because we will obviously um i'm hoping she'll uh, she'll be back pretty soon we we'll just wait for her to come back hopefully Turn that. okay yeah she's just trying to get back in um on on there but you know that's that's technology and that's the way these things happen and she's back hello let me get you back up oh 
Go to the show. There you go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> literally, oops, literally, our internet just went off completely. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops. And it just, I thought maybe it was your end. Then I, then, then I heard two children upstairs shouting and saying, <laughs> where's the internet? <laughs> so I was like, oh no. So anyway, we rebooted it. It's fine. Okay. Well, so, mm. Yeah. But whilst we were gone. Um, oh, again, right. <laughs> whilst we were gone, um, Wendy um, put on their uh, oh. head with you. And I did ask um, Roshni, you know, um, obviously she said that you, um, showed her various different modalities so mm. i often asked what, what they were and she said there is one called the emotional wall which i've tried on mm. family truly amazing how quickly i was able to heal their trauma so people were mm. able to go in and help other people oh yeah 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 the plan the plan really for it was to um work with people who were trained in eft and it was an extension you know um but actually now it's literally anyone you know anyone can do it and um not just for professionals for everybody and that's really what i think the guides wanted they want everybody to kind of be able to heal themselves you know on that journey and 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 also just to kind of it's like a a check-in as well so i mean Roshi will, will, will say this as well I and mean, she does it with quite a lot of her family and some work colleagues and it's so quick so the emotional wall is quite quick and cutting of the ties is quite quick. And there are many others that, you know, there are, there are seven or eight processes that people can use. Um, and it's, it's, you don't have to be a professional to use them. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can just we, use them. Yeah. Which, which, which is, which is really nice because sometimes yeah. I think we can't use stuff because, Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do it the right way or I'm not going to exactly. do it the right yeah. way. Yeah. And, I, you know, and I think I think it grew, you know, I think I think the, the aspect of it grew, it, it became it became a tr proper training course. And then now it's evolved to a place where anyone can use it. And I think that's that's kind of better in a way. Yeah, that, mm. that's, that's absolutely brilliant. That can happen. So are you mm. working on anything else to um, to help others with their self-love and on their mission? Well, I mean, these processes, I use them with my clients all the time. Um, and the main thing is for me is we are healing these relationships outside of us. And it could be the man in the shop. It could be a teacher. It could be um, aspects of you from a long, long time ago. And it seems to be at the moment, as the veil is much thinner, it, it seems to be that we're, we're needing to look at something we might have worked on before. And actually looking at it and going, mm, what else is running? Because as we shift timelines, I know this is the work you do as well. As we shift timelines and we shift dimensions, really, essentially, we're much more in the fifth and higher than we were before. As we shift that, then there's new things. So, for example, um, I run a group call. In fact, tonight after this, <laughs> I yeah. run a group call, and uh, it's each it's each month actually, and uh, we work with any of these beliefs. So anything will come up. The guides will tell me. In fact, this week we're working with all those times that you felt trapped in your life, so stopped from doing things or trapped, and we're clearing sort of timelines and past lives with that. So it's in the three D reality, um, and that's what we do tonight. But then next week, we next time we might do around something to do with uh, you know trauma that happened in childhood it depends on whatever I'm guided to do and whatever works for the group bespokely um, but essentially it's looking at those parts of us that are still not kind of you know something not quite right and like well, why is that you know maybe you've done so much work on yourself and you look at it and you go well I just don't know I've done everything I can possibly imagine. And it's that that is so incredible when we work with those relationships outside of us, because you can look and go, well, I love that person. I love them. I love them. Love them. And we get with those words, we, we forget what's the real feeling we feel when we're with them. So it could yeah. be that we feel uncomfortable or we just feel a little bit. We can't say exactly how we feel. And it's all that. It's all that stuff I feel that's really important to clear now. 
so yeah so yeah i run the group call which is great and obviously do individual sessions but um the the home study course is going to be really great for a lot of people yeah oh that that that's that's mm. Um, and I know that, I mean, I've got so much more that I could ask and to, uh, um, get yourself mm -hmm. back. I think we're probably going to have to leave that for another, another day. So I'm going to have to have you back right. at some point. Oh, and, actually, uh, the internet won't freeze me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? Now, mm -hmm. as our own people know, I do guided meditation and angel card readings. Mm -hmm. So each week I like to ask my guests, yeah. um, would they like a mini guided meditation or an angel card for themselves and the person and the people watching? So Susan, what would you like me to do? Ah, let me ask them. I think an angel card. I feel I'm feeling Roshni's energy actually, and I feel an angel card reading would be lovely for us. Yeah, excellent. Thank you know, you. Everyone always picks angel cards. It's amazing. Oh really? Oh yeah. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I think I think it's the the, the angels. Because the angels want to make themselves known. That I think. Yeah. That, it's yeah. like, well, come on. The show's called Angels and Destiny. You know, let's let's. Uh, so, what does Susan now? As people may know, although I work um, with past life and I work with future life, when I work with those, I do everything for the present. So, when I do the angel cards, it's for what you need to know in the present, mm -hmm. um, not, not for the future or the past. It's what what you actually need to know now. So like now, yeah, yeah. So let's see what the cards so, um, I say. So. What does Susan and all those watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Susan and everyone who's watching this need to know? Okay, so the card that kind of like popped out was Wondrous Universe, <laughs> Walk in Beauty. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Uh, hopefully you can see that hold it down a tiny little bit that's it yeah oh yeah, yeah. that's be gosh this was like a merlin type uh, it is person isn't it is it a bit like mikhazadak in a way um no not not no, no more not merlin mm. more definitely definitely more merlin with the satin mm. and uh the moon and the stars um um every everything on there you know and to me this this, this this is saying to um, yourself and everyone watching this, you, you know, the universe is an absolutely wonderful, mm. you know, place place to be in. So so go about your life with with the wonder and and the joy that that no matter what things look like, everything is still beautiful. Look mm. beyond what you see on the surface and look at the beauty that that that's 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 underneath. You know, yeah. everything is there for the taking at the moment. And we just if we can st if we can stay looking on the bright side, looking at how mm. wonderful and beautiful things are, then we are really going to move forward in this universe um, because the universe literally with this card is saying, I have got your back. You know, go walk with love and beauty. I have got your back. You cannot fail with what you're doing. Mm. Um, so yeah, so I think that's pretty good for your uh, for your course. That's beautiful. Yeah, and I, I was walking by this sea as we before we went live. I spoke to you about where I lived, and yeah, uh, I literally sat by the sea yesterday and recorded something about oneness, and okay. it is about being at oneness as well with it, isn't it? It's like mm. you know being at one with the universe and gratitude yes. of that. Yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you. Oh, yeah, well, well, it's not me, it's, it's the angels that decided what card was <laughs> yeah. with it. Yeah. So before we um, wrap up, Susan, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave those that are watching? Mm, hold on, I'll, I'll get them to come in mm. and give something. Mm. Yeah, oh, okay, that's beautiful. Yeah, so what, what, what they're saying is to remember that all of you are a child of God. Every single one of everybody in this world and this universe is a child of God and that we're all connected and therefore there is no separation so there's no separation to source there's no separation from each other so we are all here to help each other learn unconditional love and so even if a situation comes up in your life just try to see it as a gift rather than a difficulty <laughs> 
That yeah, nice excellent. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but that that that, that 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 no, that was lovely. Um, thank you, thank you to your uh, to the, <laughs> the team. Yeah, mm -hmm. to to the team. Yeah, we we like we like the team. <laughs> I like I the agents as well. They work. They yeah. work with me as well. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a team made up of angels, elementals, and oh, good. yeah, I've just got a whole whole load of a whole load of team that all, all work together. So, so nice, I, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it is. You, you know, you've always got someone to chat to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they interrupt you all the time as well. <laughs> exactly, especially when you're walking down the street. Mm. So, but we won't go. In, we go. That, that's why earbuds are quite are quite good now because people don't know if you're actually who you're talking to. Oh they, yeah, true. You don't talking. get mad anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite good with that. So I hope everyone that you enjoyed watching this and found it insightful exactly. and that the words of wisdom Susan has given you will help you on your journey. So Susan, if people want to um, connect with you, how do they do that? They can connect me on susankennard.co.uk, which is my website. If they sign up to my newsletter, which flashes up as soon as you go on it, they get a free meditation. Uh, so free channeled meditation that I've done. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, all just the same name. So Susan Kennard, which is K E W N A R D. Excellent. Yeah. What when what I'll do is I'll um I'll put those uh, on on the link Thanks. afterwards. And Jackie has put a little heart. Hi, Jax. Thank you. Uh, um, and Roshi has um put on there uh, thank you rain susan thank you very much roshi for actually what for watching this and actually joining in with the conversation mm. um yeah, it was brilliant that you helped you helped fill that little gap for us <laughs> it, you should have roshi on actually at some point oh yeah well if they're um, mm. it's, um happy to to come on um yes i'm, I'm always looking <laughs> but i'm always looking for um for, for guests to uh to help empower um other women and that so yeah, but yeah just, just 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 message me so if, i would like to thank you so much for watching and i would like you to invite you to share this video as i'm sure there are women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you and if you have reached that crossroads in your life and need help finding your destiny and getting clear on your path then i would love to be that guide for you reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20 30 minute uh, Skype or Zoom or Messenger uh, video to find out more about each other and how I can help you take charge of your destiny. And I will be back next Wednesday at 8 p.m. for another person conversation that will help you with your personal growth. Um, so again, thank you all for watching. And last message from Roshi. Oh, bless. Thank you. You're welcome. And please do contact me if you want to be on the show. And I offer a 15 minute free chat as well. If you just go onto my schedule, you can book it. Brilliant. Yeah. See, so, so, so everyone out there, you know, you get you mm. get a chance to talk to us free. Mm. So, can't, ask yeah. much, can't ask much more than that. <laughs> so Susan, again, thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you. For who's watching. Thank and you. I'll let you go so you can go on to your... Uh, to yeah, your 15 group. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, much all right. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.